Hey guys, it's Jesse with Lost Marbles Farm. Today we're talking about guardian dogs. What is it, girl? You want me to get that rock? You want me to get that rock? Are you sure? That one? Right there? Okay. This one? This one right here? This rock? Is that the one? <laughs> Ooh, gonna go this way. Gonna go this way. Gonna go that way. <laughs> so, um, I just want to introduce you to our dog. This is Stormy. Come here, girl. Come here. Come say hi. Come here. Or no, we're not going to play fetch right now. Come here. Come here, Stormy. Come here. Come here. Come here and say hi to everybody. Tell everybody hi. Come here, girl. No, we're not playing. No, no, no. We're not playing. We're not fetching. See, she's got, uh, she's addicted to fetch. Okay? So, come here, girl. Come here. Tell everybody how sweet you are. Tell everybody. <laughs> anyway, so this is Stormy. She is our uh, beloved German Shepherd. We got her when uh, about six and a half years ago as a puppy from um, some breeders in Montgomery, Alabama. Um, I was new to guardian dogs. Um, we knew that there are several breeds out there that make great ones. Um, and I'm not favoring German Shepherds. I'm just saying this is our first true guardian dog. I mean, we've had dogs growing up in the past, but they weren't trained to actually protect animals like she is. No, we're not playing fetch. We're not, we're not, we're not fetching right now, but we will later, okay? I promise. So anyway, um, we got her six and a half years ago and we did have animals at the time. I think that's really important to have animals when you get a puppy. Um, you don't want to it's a little bit harder if you get a dog first and then later on get animals because they're not trained to those animals. Whereas if you had the animals, then you brought in a puppy, they're immediately learning that this, this is my uh, clan. This is my, not clan, but this is my um, pack, okay? And they will guard that pack. So, where'd she go? Oh, she's just sitting over there. She's probably gonna start fighting with her log again. So anyway, um, getting one when you have your animals um, is what I highly recommend. Now, there were some little bumps in the roads when we were training her. We had some young guineas, and which guineas kind of ask for it, y'all. They're super annoying. I love guineas, but they can be a little bit annoying, and I think maybe they kind of irritated her a little bit. But she was um, under six months old, and she did kill one there might have been two that she actually killed, um, but we immediately uh, used some techniques um, that are actually very highly recommended. They may be frowned upon by a lot of people, and I'm not even going to say what they are because I know that somebody's going to, you know, I'm going to get hate emails and YouTube might remove it. It's nothing that bad, but somebody's going to get offended by it. So just use some techniques to let her know this is not acceptable and it worked she did not act um, on that predatory um, impulse anymore never touched another bird and so once we got past that those little uh, bumps in the road and she, in her training so for at least a solid six years maybe more of her life we have not lost a single animal of all the chickens that we've had, of all the rabbits that we've had, and goats, and pigs. I mean, we've introduced new animals to her that she's never been around, and once she understands this is my family, that's it. I mean, she immediately accepts things and um, understands. And y'all, to not lose a single animal when we live way out in the country, we're surrounded by uh, raccoons, foxes, possums, coyotes. We're surrounded by it, y'all. They're thick. They're out here everywhere. Not a single loss in six years. She's worth her weight in gold. So guys, I highly recommend if you do not have a guardian dog um, and you are already have animals and you're experiencing losses with those animals, really look into a guardian dog. If you um, 
haven't if you're new and you're not there yet and you're interested in getting a guardian dog so when you do get animals um, I would highly recommend go ahead and get your animals um, and the puppy at the same time okay just understand that there probably will be a few losses and that's okay y'all it's okay it's worth the couple of losses while the puppy's still learning you know because sometimes when they're little bitty they, they're too scared to really defend um, just yet but once they get you know some size on them they're not gonna let anything get past them so um, highly highly recommend it's they're worth every penny spent and you don't have to get an expensive breed you don't have to spend uh, money on a, on a you know expensive bloodline they don't have to be registered it could be a mixed breed that you get at uh, the shelter I mean, some dogs, there are some breeds that just do better as guardians, some breeds do better as herders, things like that, but you can find a good dog just about anywhere if you're willing to take the time and work in, uh, with them and everything. But uh, I will say that I'm very impressed that a dog like Stormy, uh, a German Shepherd, who does have that instinct, you know, they, all dogs have that instinct is so well trained that one of my baby bunnies can accidentally fall out and she won't touch it. We've had bunnies, the kids forgot to close the pen and the bunnies got out. And these were older rabbits, but they got out and we couldn't find them. I'm like, how can you not find a white rabbit? I mean, they stand out like a sore thumb, but one of them we found fairly quickly. The other one was gone for a couple days. I'm like, something had to have gotten it there's no way we could miss a white rabbit well I don't know where it was hiding but it was somewhere beside the house not too far away maybe 200 feet from the house completely untouched in fact I found it because Stormy was staring at something and it was the rabbit just mosing through the brush and eating stuff she could have killed that rabbit a million times and didn't because she knows what she's doing so let me tell you real quick about Stormy and the log. So you saw the beginning of the video and she's rolling around growling and attacking a log. Well, I can't explain it y'all. That's just her. She has some kind of quirk about her that she likes to attack cinder blocks, uh, big rocks, or tree stumps. Yeah, and she'll carry him around. She'll carry a cinder block across the yard, drop it, and roll it around the ground. And it sounds like she's attacking it. I don't know why she does it, but it is absolutely hilarious. And when somebody comes over, and we'll be talking with them, and uh, they'll be throwing rocks for her to fetch because she loves to fetch, you know, small rocks or balls or uh, walnuts right now because they're like a ball. And um, and they stop throwing. It's like okay. They've stopped throwing. I'm going to go take it out on this cinder block over here. And so in just a couple seconds, you'll hear her over there. <laughs> all on the cinder block. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to imitate it. But yeah, she'll go over there and start attacking that uh, cinder block or log. This Right now it's a log. It changes. Um, and people start thinking, where's the dog fight? Where? Where is it? And I'm like, there's no dog fight. That's just Stormy. Okay? She's, she's weird. We love her, but she's weird. <laughs> she fits in good here. So anyway, I had to explain that to you. Well guys, I hope you have a great um, afternoon and I hope that y'all have a wonderful week. Um, get ready because it looks like we're going to have a pretty cold winter according to the forecast. They've got the woolly caterpillars are showing a hard winter. The persimmon tree nuts are showing a hard winter. The All the acorns and the nut trees have had a, a massive amount so that's showing a hard winter. Um, there's several other indicators, plus the farmer's almanac. Everything is pointing to a hard winter. So get some extra hay, get some extra wood if you use a wood stove, and just be prepared. So anyhow, y'all have a great week, and we'll see you on the next video. <sighs> there she goes again. What can I say? The girl's got issues. She's working out.